One of the things I love about traveling with Gymshark is you get to go to really historic locations. You feel like you really immerse yourself in the culture. And sometimes, you know, it's just nice to sit back, relax, and just take in the history that you're within. Just absorb it. Just feel it. Welcome to Oslo, home of the people penis. <laughs> Germany. It's all been a little bit hectic. I'm just about to try a new shake created by Lainey, who is currently in the process of writing a complete ebook of recipes and shakes. That's why you have to taste Ooh. test it. So we're taste testing over the next couple of months. She's drafting that up. This is salted caramel and banana protein shake. Yep. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, Good. Woohoo. Not bad. Oh. Lex is the best person to test recipes on because I he's, hate he's, shakes. And he's a really, really painfully honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's what's new. It's been really hard to do training videos simply because, well, you know, we've been traveling a lot, which means not been training right. My hair is fluffy, my beard is fresh because I'm about to hit up Styles to get my hair cut, beard done because I'm off for a photo shoot with Gymshark in Oslo. So jobs for today are haircut, beard trim, sunbed, training. So I do apologize guys for the lack of training footage, but it has been a super, super busy time. We traveled through from Australia with F2 weeks, came back for a couple of days, straight through to Germany. Obviously now I'm back, I have to go straight back out to Oslo. It's just a little bit crazy, and to be honest with you, my training has been all over the place. I haven't been able to follow my programming because basically the limitations of travel and gym, uh, what the style of gyms we get to train at, you just can't keep consistent programs. So all I've been doing is sticking with the hypertrophic range, eight to 12, and killing multiple body part workouts. Even when I'm tired, you know, I'm always fine once I get in the gym. So it's not a problem in terms of me wanting to train or training when I'm in there. It's simply the time and travel away and the consistency factor. And other than that, you know, I will get them back out. Do not worry. They are en route and we shall have something a little bit special coming as well for you guys. I am bringing back the Shredded with the Life series. Yeah. Why? That you will find out at a later date. And as I said, you know earlier guys, I've always said I want to make this channel a lifestyle and fitness channel anyway. It, I know you guys love the training, I know you do. But I also know that you like, you like to be entertained, you like to know what's going on in my world. And at the moment, there's quite a lot going on. So it's going to be pretty good to show you what's going on, the travel, the fun, plus beautiful days like this, just, just getting jobs done, you know. These are everyday things I've got to do. May as well make use of the time while I'm doing it. That's what it's about, being productive and taking you guys along for the ride. <laughs> Staying with me. <laughs> How are we? You good? How are you, man? We're good, we're good. Hello? Yes. It's been a while, man. I know. Look at that beard. Oh, and we're in the chair, we're back with Harris. So we're going to try and take this Jesus do and we're going to try and make it look relatively presentable. The goal is to grow this look like a pirate, but we also have to take into account I've got to do work. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these, neaten them up for the shoot, but then after that we're gonna let these grow. We're gonna take off all the dead crappy ends on here, give it a bit of kind of a layer because it's kind of sitting a bit yeah. nah. yeah. and, uh, and that's it. So we're gonna afford to take some length off because we're gonna be growing all this. Although look at look at that. Crushing everything up, his hair, beard, life. So this is a four. Oh! And that's the finished product. There we go. 
that's the after. So you can see we've gone full SOA. We've gone full OP, <laughs> OP mode. So what we've actually done is kept it short on the sides and then kept length towards the front. So what that allows me to do is have a really easily styled beard that won't kind of flare out and do crazy stuff, but still kind of looks like it has that length. So you can see, kept all those layers in the hair now, rather than it being kind of sat flat against my head, because we've taken some layers, it gives it volume. more volumes. I have heavy ass hair. Mm -hmm. Growing all this out, as we said, so we've just eaten the sides for the photo shoot, but after that, we're gonna let these grow, and then I'll start kind of styling it as best I can. Not been getting as asked to styles. We might travel a lot, but we always come back, back to home styles. eventually. Yeah. So anyway, now back off, more jobs. Okay, so we're done, and in case you're worried, I always cover my tattoo. Where the hell are you going? And speaking of tattoos, that's where we're heading now. On a little bit of a whim, we're going to go see if my lovely artist Lisa is in. Because I'm going to start bringing you guys some more ink work. Another goal for the year. So let's go and start putting some things in motion. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Dude. Well, somebody's in. So if you don't know where I get my work done, this is it. Fantasy tattoo. And Colin, let's go and uh, see if Lisa's in. You might not have seen Lisa for a while because she hasn't been tattooed. But this is Lisa, this is Tattoo Place. We'll get some things coming for you. But now she's reminiscing about when we started. And look, are you coming? More people, more people I know I haven't seen in years. Still too big, get off my camera. <laughs> still, I'm wearing leathers and he's still wider. Than me. <laughs> yeah, it was the first time Lisa saw me, I was wearing a pink cardigan, boots, jeans, and she was like, is either gay or I'm going to be surprised. Yep, very. She was, very happy. she was surprised? No, she was. All right, have fun. <laughs> See you later. Okay, final job of the day. Gotta go find a Thunderbolt cable for Laney because nobody seems to stop the damn things. So we're going to Oslo tomorrow. It's a quick three day shoot over there. Now here's where opportunity knocks on the door guys and you take it. One of the guys dropped out and there was a space needed to be filled. The guys at Gymshark just trusted me. They said, you got any boys that want to join you? I was like, hell yeah, I do. I rung little Mad Max up. Little, I say little, he ain't so little. And uh, asked if he wanted to come and he did. So myself and Max will be heading to Oslo with Gymshark. I'm going to be shooting all their new element wear. Get some instructional training back up for you guys. Don't worry. There will always be training footage. There will always be instructional footage. There will always be me learning and imparting what I learn, what I screw up, how I fix it. <laughs> so you don't have to do the same. I command you change. Three, two, one, change. <laughs> That's right. You do as I say. And thank you everybody for all the uh, amazing messages and emails and encouragement I get on a daily basis from you guys. I've had some really, really crazy emails recently about people who have been either long time followers of the channel, new to the channel, and have made some serious changes in their life, all for the better. Part and parcel of, you know, being encouraged little by little by, you know, the channel, the posts, what we put across has really helped them and in some people really helped them turn their turn their lives around simply by changing, you know, making them book out their ideas in terms of how they feel about themselves, their attitudes. A lot of people I think are too hard on themselves. They give themselves too much pressure. Um, or they, they either underestimate or overestimate what's involved in things and end up failing for reasons that could have been avoided and, uh, you know, Whatever helps you find that, you know, whatever helps you find your groove. If I've been part of that, fucking awesome. And, you know, we will keep it going. 100%. You know, I am where I am because of you guys. So every time one of you says, you know, that you're somewhere because of what I've done, you know, no, guys, it's two-way street. You thank me and God damn, I thank you, so. Train to London, our way to Houston, and we are flying to Oslo. And you might have noticed I have somebody with me. This idiot. <laughs> if you would take me away 
sandwich and a croissant so mm, we've had no food so we're checking out Joe and the juice to uh, get ourselves a little bit of breakfast in a cup hello to Ollie Ollie's the man of the day fueled by brie sandwiches and croissants what we're we doing today Ollie? we are with a belly full of brie gonna go to the gym make some awesome shots there and then we're gonna go to the park also get some awesome shots there and then we're going to the opera house and make some beautiful shots there. It's all going to be very sweet. We've taken a lot of shots today. <laughs> at uh, Performance Center. This is where we're going to be holding the first part of the shoot for the day. We've got two of the locations, one being an opera house and one, I don't know where, you'll find out where we do. Good. And it smashes me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, sick, got it. Ooh. So just did some shots, using the ropes. Haven't done that since fight training, so. Ooh. That was fun. You look like, you look like Thor. Best part of this one, there's a PlayStation in the back with UFC on it. You didn't get to play. <laughs> so the secondary location for the day is a park. But I'm not gonna lie, it's a little chilly. Chilly? It's fucking freezing. <laughs> Welcome to Oslo, home of the people penis. <laughs> Max, yes? do you know I can get some artwork? Think of like a lot of babies wrestling. I mean, naked. I, you've got to be naked babies though. It's wow, look at that view. Yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, it's pretty nippy, but check it out, we're literally climbing up Hello. the side of Where the opera you? house. And look at that view. Oh nice, I'm probably oh, here damn. With, uh, I'm <laughs> They call him Max the Lamp Boy. His dream was always to be the Green Lantern. Didn't quite make it. <laughs> Day two in the in the Norway. We're finally here, and it is a pretty cool looking gym. You know, we've got bags, sled runs, going to shoot, going to do a lot of videography work, and I am personally going to kind of like smash in a workout whilst doing all the shoots because then my day is done in one go. I can work out and get the shoots done and enjoy the evening. We are back on the move. It was snowing when we left. We ended up doing some bag work, slow my work, it should look really, really good. And now we are off to the Opera House, get the final shots of the day, and a burger. A burger. <laughs> There's a screenshot for you right there. Beautiful. I think we're going to have a baby now. Welcome to my beautiful town. This is Oslo. We're standing at the opera. 
house. <laughs> you would be really? the worst tourist guy ever. <laughs> you would, be you would suck. You, I want you to look right into the camera. And... Max is currently attempting an uphill backward roll. Bearing in mind. As you can tell, it's going very well. It's going really well. Cro cross Fit! Yeah. Uh, yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> Bearing in mind, we're with human beings that can actually do standing backflips. <laughs> Come on, £250 from you, be proud. <laughs> Okay, and down. And Strong. up. <laughs> yeah. So you're one of Martin's friends as candy brought his S1000RR down to look and that is a pretty looking bike. Morning gains. Look at that, that light though. Half night of light, look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. So that's it. It's end of the road for the Oslo trip. It's been fun. Hope we got some really great shots that you guys will see over the next couple of weeks. Next up, body power. And that is where the real fun begins. Hopefully we will be doing more things like this behind the scenes for you guys to look at. And enjoy, take them for the journey. As I've always said before, this is much more than just a fitness channel. I'd like to bring you along for the entire lifestyle, the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights. So, from me, from that idiot, idiot. this is farewell <laughs> from Oslo. Boom, baby. It's been a long <laughs> flight, you just gotta make sure you know take care of the take care of the talent guys to get the talent. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs>